Welcome children. Living Free is an interesting story that has a message that every bird and animals should not be kept in cages. In fact, they should be live free. As we know that all living beings love to be happy, uh, they love to be happy in their own home. As birds live in their own habitat, that is natural home where they can fly wherever they want it can they can live in a large flock with their own friends similarly animals also love to live in their own home that is forest and even and tiny insect and animals also this story is about a girl parul who came to visit her grandmother and there she learned an a very interesting and important knowledge that all animals should uh, should be free they should not kept in cages parul was spending her holidays at her grandmother's house near the beach at gopalpur in odisha grandma gauri worked with a local group that helped animals in need parul enjoyed being with her grandmother and learned a lot from her I love grandma gauri she never forces me to do anything paru wrote to her parents she helps me think about what i do and why i do it girl parul she was a little girl and she came to visit her grandma who lived nearby a beach at gopalpur in odisha and her grandmother worked with a local group which helped animals in need here animals in need means the animals who are sick and stray on the streets she enjoyed her company because her grandmother never forces her to do anything in fact she helped her to learn different type of things one evening as they were watching the sunset they heard an odd noise scratch 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 it's coming from those she sells I found today Parul pointed to her beach bucket Look at that said grandma Some hermit crabs had already made homes in your shells before you found them Parul sat down next to her beach bucket at first she saw only she shells then little heads and claws appeared from the shells they moved around in the bucket making scratch scratching sounds See even crabs can be quite delightful grandma said smiling here one evening when parul and her grandma went to the beach to see sunset you know that watching sunset is a very beautiful sight at sea beach they heard they were sitting at a place and suddenly they heard an an odd noise almost a strange noise and then parul pointed towards her beach bucket She said to her grandma that the sound was coming from the she seals. Her grandma said that just look at there are some hermit crabs that made homes in her shells. Before you found them it means Parul was collecting some she seals. Actually some people have habit to collect she seals. They are beautiful and normally crabs and tiny insects like snails kept in they entered in the empty shell of these other sea creatures to protect their soft body so parul collected some she seals and the sound was coming from that because hermit crabs hermit crabs means tiny little crabs baby crabs they entered in the shells then parul saw that uh, some she seals were there but then she looked carefully and saw some little heads and claws appeared from the shell she was very excited to see it and she wanted to keep them as her pets look at in this picture you can see that these are the hermit crabs they look very beautiful and they entered in the she shell to protect their soft body I want to keep them said Parul they'll be my pets I'll get a box with a lid she ran into the house are you sure you want to put them in a box 
asked grandma oh i'll take good care of them parul said here while seeing this parul wanted to keep the hermit crabs as her pets and she wanted to keep them in her beach bucket she said that i'm going to take a uh, take a box and there i will keep them and she said to her grandma that she would really take good care of those hermit crabs well then we should make sure they can breathe said grandma making holes for air in the lid of the box then parul poured some sand into the box a little bit of water and finally placed some tiny stones in the sand parul lifted each hermit crab and put it in the box you have a perfect little beach she said smiling i'm sure you'll be happy here then she took the box to her room here parul uh, said to her grandma that she wanted to keep them as her pets then grandma said that okay if you are you have already decided then first of all you have to be make sure that they can breathe nicely because all living beings need air to breathe in then parul poured some sand in the box little bit of water and some pebbles tiny stones which she collected she put it in the box and then she lifted each hermit crabs nicely and she put th- them in the box and she said that now you will be happy in this little sea beach but when she returned to home to her home what happened but as her room got quiet the scritch scratch noises started again at night parul couldn't sleep the hermit crabs kept her awake when she looked into the box she saw the crabs trying to climb out of it parul carried the box to the living room where grandma was reading can you take me to the beach parul asked grandma closed her book i don't think that they are happy in the box i want to let them go said parul good idea grandma said smiling all living things should be free here when parul kept the box in her room and at night when she was going to sleep she couldn't sleep just because of the noise made by the hermit crabs and then she understood that the crabs were not happy as she saw that the hermit crabs were trying to come out of the box she took the box and went to the living room and said to her grandma that grandma please take me to the beach i want to let them go here let them go means the hermit crabs she wanted to hermit crabs to go once again back to the beach grandma was very happy to see to hear it all this and she said that all living things should be free parul had never parul had never been to the beach at night she uh, there were stars shining in the sky she saw their reflections in the water a banana shaped moon made the sea look bright now i know why they don't want to live in a box said parul it's so beautiful out here when parul and grandma went to the beach earlier parul did not go to beach at night but when she but here when she reached to the beach she understood that the crabs were very happy at their own home because here she saw the reflections of stars and moon in the sea in the water and here she under, she understood that birds and animals should not be kept in cages in fact they should be free so she decided here that she would leave the hermit crabs free and she understood while seeing the reflections in the water the banana shaped moon was very looking very beautiful she removed the lid and kept the box on the sand she and grandma watched the hermit crabs run off into the silvery light i'm glad you did this never put living things in cages 
Look, the moon is smiling too, said grandma with a laugh. Here, when they went, as Parul saw the reflections of stars and moons, she was very happy to see it. And she said that now I understood. And here, grandma also was very happy to understand that Parul has now understood that crabs were very very happy in their own home. Here she removed the lid of the box and kept the box on the sand. The crabs ran off to the towards the beach and her grandma was very happy. Parul smiled back at the moon and put her hand in grandma Gauri's as they walked home. Her mother and father came the next day to take Parul back to the city. In her room at home, Parul unpacked her bags. She arranged the she cells neatly in a row. None of them had a hermit crab inside. While getting ready for bed, Parul found something special. The same stars and banana moon were outside her window. They had followed her room, her home, and the moon was still smiling. Now, after uh, after keeping the crabs at the beach, Parul returned to her home and next day her parent, father and mother came to take her back to the city. And when she returned to her home, she unpacked her bag and arranged the she seals what she collected from the beach. And she saw that there was, there were none of a hermit crab inside. And when she was getting back to the bed, she found that something was special. And the special thing was the banana shaped moon and the same stars. They followed her. And she was very happy to see all these things. And she felt that the moon was also smiling at her face. And from then on, she uh, did not keep any living beings inside a cage and she understood the importance that every living being should be free. Thank you.